too, right? Okay. Oh, and I have my little, I'm seeing my note here. You need hair because it has ink. Okay, good. I did bring it back. So this is our next card. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate that. So this is our next card featuring more of our Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. That's this one, this leafy pattern right here, and then this really, I don't know, very interesting pattern. I liked, I don't know, I liked the kind of textury background look, right? And then <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh when I show you the pieces that I'm using. This is more of the Designer Series paper. It is this pattern right here, and then that's what's on the back side, right? Uh, Thank you guys, I'm glad you're enjoying these cards. This one's kind of a fun um, fold, right? So this one, actually the white is a base, right? So we just have one sheet and then this part is what opens up. Isn't that kind of cool? Something a little bit different there. I remember making one like this like a long time ago and being like, ooh, that's so cool, right? Probably like way back when I first started stamping. So, okay, let's get what we need out for this one. Oh, my ink pad colors. Oh, yeah. We use a bunch of greens there. I'll show you those in a, in a few moments. Whoops. We do, yeah. We need some stamping and die cutting again. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. All right, I think I have everything now. All right, so we are going to start. This is our card base. This is a piece of thick... Whisper White cardstock. That's all, oops, flinging that around. That's all you need to start your card with. And this one is a quarter of a sheet straight up. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. So you could get four of these card bases out of a full sheet of cardstock, right? Four and a quarter by five and a half, all right? Then you have your garden green cardstock that you're gonna use to like fold your card, right? So this piece measures five and a quarter by eight inches and then we scored it at four inches. And once again, I will include all of the dimensions and the item codes for everything on my blog this afternoon. Okay, so that's gonna layer right on there like that, right? Then we have our designer series paper, that beautiful leafy pattern, right? So this one measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. So that's just gonna layer right on there also. And then I've got some scraps of Whisper White um, to do our stamping. So let's do that. Okay. Oh, okay. My other, this is my silly part. So again, because I used all of my designer series paper on our, um, one sheet wonder cards for my downline. This is what I, <laughs> like I had this little, I can't remember which way this goes together. Anyway, maybe like that, whatever. Well, however this goes together, I literally had to like snip it apart so that I could have enough <laughs> to put on there. I would say you normally, if that was three and three quarter inches wide, normally you'd want a strip that is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. But this is all I had, so that's what we're <laughs> using. So, you know, you have to improvise sometimes, okay? And I'll make sure to mention that size there as well, because I'm sure you guys have full sheets of designer series paper that you can use. So, okay. All right, let's do our stamping. So we've got, let me get myself situated here. Okay, so in our shaded spruce ink, this is our first one, we're gonna stamp the big leaves. So tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. So, ooh, look at, and I love, this may be a distinctive stamp. Was this, I feel like it could be. I don't know, someone was asking me, I think it was the other night, on um, bingo, whether a stamp was distinctive. And it doesn't stay doesn't say on the um, stamp sets themselves, but I, in the catalog it does. So it kind of feels like it might be. This is Garden Green ink, and then this is our other leaf we're gonna use. I don't know why I have all these. We don't need all of these, do we? All right, I'm gonna put Garden Green ink. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so there you can kind of see the difference between shaded spruce, it's more of a blue green, and that's more of just a deep, Christmas tree green, I guess. Traditional, not a blue spruce, right? <laughs> and then our pear pizzazz ink. Oh, what do we, oh, I see. I need my hello, I see what we're doing. I need this one later. We're gonna come back to that one. Oh yeah, I need those splotches from somewhere too. All right, let's see, actually we need shaded spruce ink. So uh, what, what I'm so, um, 
like what's going on, right? Why is her brain so crazy? Um, I am hosting the celebration celebration event tomorrow in the driveway here at my house because I didn't think we should do it at the studio quite yet because it's not a very big space. And so many things are pulled out for make and takes and what we've been working on for that. So that's why I'm like, where's my ink? Where's this? Where's that? My stamp. I'm missing a, I'm missing the little, um, this little stamp because I know we used it on the make and take. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. I'm like a little bit crazy here. Not making a lot of sense to you guys probably, right? Okay, so I think we can do our die cutting. Yep. Okay, let's do that. All right. Here we go. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Tammy. The This Forever Fern stamp set is a distinctive stamp set. It sure felt like it when you do the stamping, right? I mean, look at kind of the shading, the lights and darks. Really feels like it would be. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Tammy. All right, so we're going to put these down on here. We're going to grab our dies. So this time I think I need, oops, this one to go around there and this one to go around there. And then, okay, these are my absolute favorite new dies. These are called the Tasteful Labels dies that go with the Tasteful Texture stamp set. These are kind of going to be like the Stitched So Sweetly dies from the spring catalog. This is your next set of label dies that you are going to have to have. I am telling you what, I've used so many of these dies already and I will continue to use them. So get them as soon as you can so that you can enjoy them for lots and lots of time to come too. So we're going to use this one. So they've got some different, like some of them, can you kind of see... Some of them are more stitchy and some of them are more liney, I guess I'll say. So can you see that one's more stitchy and then these three are more liney. That one's stitchy, liney, and stitchy. So they've got some different textures. I don't know if I've even run those yet, but they've got some cool detail on those there as well. But yes, these are awesome. Hey, Miss Becky, thank you for sharing. You are so good at that. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna pop these on here. I'm trying to think if I can find the little speckledy stamp that I want. I think I know where it is. I might try to run and grab it real quick. And I actually did stamp it around the hello afterwards. So we're not going out of order in terms of steps just yet. But okay. Woohoo. Love the dies, how they just die cut all of that detail, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So here, let's pull, let's lift this one up here so you can kind of see. We almost wish that would stay in. So it stitches. The outside, it is more liney stitching, I guess. I don't know. Somehow it looks different um, on there, right? Okay, so there's that one. And then it also stitches around the outside of it as well. So you can do the inside or you could use this piece and have some fun, like a window. That would be fun too, right? Okay. All right, let's scoot these things out of the way. And get our pieces back in here. Okay, so this little hello is the one... <laughs> One sec. I think I know right where it is. Okay. I found it. <laughs> I'm not moving quickly either. <laughs> All right. So this was what I was looking for. This little stamp. So it's that little. You have to have those little textury things. I cannot... Um, yeah. I just You have to have the little textury things, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, Becky, there are so many beautiful things you can do with this designer series paper. Absolutely. All right, I'm just trying to find my little, my extra grid paper so I can keep that one pretty. Okay, so we're just going to, I actually stamped off because I went just a little, just kind of lightly. There. Just want a little sprinkle of splatter on there, but I like the little bit lighter look when you stamp off first. Okay, I think we are ready to put our card together now that I have everything like flung all over the place. Let's see, we're gonna put our designer series paper on first. Let's scoot those over a little bit more, okay? So we're gonna add our DSP to our garden green base, and then let's go ahead and just put this right on our card. You want quite a bit of adhesive on this piece because this is your actual card that you're going to be opening and closing so you want to make sure it stays down there really well we're going to press firmly 
Oh yeah, I did this. Oh yeah, this is what I did to myself the other day too. Okay, so with all that being said, don't press too firmly because I need to tie my, ooh, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to do this. I was the other day, but I've added, let's see, right? So if we use our paper snips and we just kind of carefully, all right, good, I got that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry guys. Let's see if I can get this one. I just don't want to rip it. Okay. <laughs> so we wanted to tie our gold ribbon, our gold trim around here. So I'm going to just lay my paper snips underneath there because I do need to add these little babies. One and then it's sticking to me. Okay, off my fingers, please. And then this one, what? I don't know what is going on with this snail. There, okay. So we're gonna put one right about there. And then we're gonna do one right there. Okay, so I'm not gonna press super hard because I need to get my gold trim wrapped around here first and then we can lay this back down again. Okay, yeah, so, you know, it happens to the best of us. Okay, I'm gonna put my paper snips back underneath there again. Okay, all right, so we're gonna tie our bow. Let's give ourselves a little bit more to work with there. Okay, so this is super pretty. I love this gold trim. Okay, we're gonna make a bow. Um, I'm going to tell you, though, it's not the easiest to tie a bow with because it's kind of slidey almost. Like it keeps kind of, it's hard to keep it tight. But I've seen lots of pretty loopy things. That almost might be the thing that you want to do is loop it. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more adhesive there. Pop that down. We're going to trim that off there. Okay. All right, so we've got our bow, right? And then we can start adding the rest of our leaves and bling and so on. So I love to use my little silicone mat here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive. We're gonna layer this guy in here, maybe right about there. My idea is I have to cover up <laughs> that little um, piece and I'm gonna do it with all of these things, right? So I'm gonna bring that over a little bit more. There we go. We're gonna put some dimensionals behind this little hello piece, because I want this one to pop up just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right about there. And then we have to add a little bit of embellishment to this, right? Because that's good. And I love to kind of curl these up a little bit too, right? But these are the new, what are they called? The in good taste elements. So they're a part of a different suite of products, but I loved, actually, so let me show you. So they're a bunch of little like kind of X's or almost little crosses and then some little dots, right? And then three sheets of the other wooden elements in the leaves. Actually, there are two different kinds of leaves there. You can see them a little better on that side, right? So we're just gonna use one of these little baby leaves right here. Okay, we are gonna get a mini glue dot. And add this to our card. And I should tell you guys, so for the celebration celebration, I emailed everybody. And clearly, if you don't live in the area and qualified, you will not be you know, attending the event. I will be putting everything together next week and getting it mailed out to everybody that is not able to attend that's long distance, or if you're local, I'll have it out on the porch for porch pickup, okay? So I finally was able to decide when to do that celebration celebration event and wanted to get it in before this catalog ended, honestly. So then we added just a couple little gold, uh, Gold, the gilded, and the new gilded gems. And that is it. So, whoo, there we go. We made it, ladies. <laughs> a little bit of a struggle at points there today, but 
What fun, huh? I love all of the the detail on these cards as well. All the pretty the pretty greens, all the different shades of green, right? So, okay, my quick recap and man, crafter math is very evident around this table today. Wow, ladies. <laughs> okay, so thanks for hanging in there with me today, guys. Uh if you would like to order any of the products again, Wednesday, June 3rd at noon Mountain Standard Time is when we can start. No, no, it's 10 a.m., right? Hold on. Now I got my... Nope, it is noon. Noon Mountain Standard Time because it's probably 10 a.m. Eastern. That's why I've got the 10 a.m. in my brain. Yep. So noon Mountain Standard Time, you can order any of the new products like the Forever Fern stamp set, these Flourishing Fern, whatever these dyes are called. I will have all of the item codes for everything on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? You will also get both of these projects if you put your online order in of at least $30 and use this host code. You can either get the make and takes or the completed cards. Uh, make sure you use the host code, right? Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the new te Tasteful Textiles embossing folder that we used right there, right? And then if you bump your order up to $50, you will get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a package of the um, the free embellishment. And I'm seeing Sharon saying two o'clock. Yeah, you're right, Sharon. I always go the, why do I, yeah, I go the wrong way. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna have to wait a really long time on Wednesday now, aren't we? Okay, that's right, we can do it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like going the wrong way with that. Noon mountain time is two o'clock Eastern time. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Sharon. You can tell my brain's a little fried. We, Lily and I have been working so hard getting ready for that celebration celebration event too that my mind is kind of all over the place. I don't know how people do it. They have lots and lots of events all the time. This is all I can handle. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see some of you in my driveway tomorrow. Pray for good weather. That's the next thing we need to make sure of. I think it's going to be decent anyway. So have a great weekend. If you're not able to attend Celebration Celebration and you earned your spot, I will be getting everything out to you next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys were inspired today and super excited about the new catalog. But don't forget to order your last chance products one last time while you still can. All right. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, everybody.